when he got ready to talk to man again, angel went down to Elizabeth, Zachariah's wife. Of course, he went to Zachariah and told Zachariah, your wife's going to have a child. And, and, and Zachariah said, how can he think be? Lord, see him old man, my wife old. And the angel of God said, because you don't believe what I'm saying, you're going to be dumb and not able to speak until this thing comes to pass. Some of you don't believe what I'm saying today, but it's coming up again. And when it happens, it's going to be too late. And so Elizabeth, she became pregnant and brought forth a son. And the angel told Zachariah his name should be called John after he was born. And they sent to Zachariah, who was in the temple, the priest, asked him, him, because uh, uh, the people said that uh, John the Baptist's name should be Zachariah, maybe Zachariah the second, or Zachariah the third. And, uh, and, and, uh, and, 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 and so, they asked Zachariah, what, what, what should we call him? And he wrote on a pad because he couldn't talk. God told him it wasn't going to be a time. His name shall be called John. Uh, his name is John because God had told him. So then, what I'm trying to get to is that John, after growing up, God decided to speak to Israel again. Come on, y'all. You read your Bible. He decided. See, behold, I sent forth my messenger. Y'all ain't read that? A a amen. He said, he said, behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord, whom, I, whom you seek. That John the Baptist came to prepare the way for Jesus. He introduced Jesus to the world. I know this is a long message, isn't it? He introduced Jesus to the world. And that was the first time that they heard from God after 400 years. It was through John the Baptist. And John the Baptist said, repent, O ye generation of vipers. That means you generation of snakes. That was John the Baptist. When he came preaching, he called him generation of snakes. If I call y'all snakes today, y'all get mad at me. Some of y'all are snakes. Sneaky. Sly. Lie on a bush, anything. Wait for you to come by and bite you. And Jesus called them uh, 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 vipers. Oh, you generation of vipers. Why did he say that? Because he wants you to get it right with God. He didn't call them viper because he hated them, but because of the love of God, he wanted them to really see what was in their heart. A lot of y'all don't see what's in your heart. I only think I'm doing trying to let you examine your own self. I don't have to do that. Because Jesus told me how to know you. He said, by their fruit, you shall know them. Huh? He said, if you watch the tree, they shall be known by fruit and bad. Nobody has to worry about what, uh, one or whether or not you're a child of God, but what you do. My mother used to say, what you do, speak so loud. I can't hear what you say. All right, I guess I better go and close out. It's too long for y'all. Thank you, baby. It, but, but you see, I know I'm... I know y'all say I keep on talking about my age. I'm about 80 years old. And I tell my family, and I ain't planning on dying right now. <laughs> Don't look at me because I'm thinking I'm talking about my age because I'm planning on dying. I ain't planning on dying <laughs> until you get rid of us. But I got to send them know that I didn't come here to stay always. In the Bible, it said, 
the days of our years are three scores and ten. And if, by reason of strength, there be four scores. So I done passed three scores and ten. Now I'm just ready to do Knocking at four scores. That's all he promised. But I'm looking for more. <laughs> by his grace. Some, uh, 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 most of y'all in here haven't lived three score and ten yet. And I want to tell you, some of y'all ain't going to make it. I want to tell you that. Some of you are not going to make it. And you better make preparation to meet him. Because some of y'all ain't going to make it. But I'm, I'm sounding the alarm that you get right with God. How do you do that? You, first you, Jesus said you must be, you got to be born again. You cannot get right with God and hate your fellow man. You cannot get right with God and dig in ditches for your fellow man. Old people, you saying I'm old now. Say if you dig one ditch, you better be dig two. Cause you, cause you certainly gonna fall in one while you digging that ditch. What I'm trying to tell you, time is winding up on you. Some of y'all look at me. I, I know I don't say I'm about 80 years old, but you know what? I may see a whole lot of y'all in your grave. And he said, what are you talking about? Well, my job, when I was 15 years old, when God started talking to me and let me know that this world is going to be destroyed by fire. If you read in, in the book of Malachi, it, it tells you that uh, it, it said, behold, the day coming that she'll burn as an oven. Hello, somebody. You understand what that means? They're coming. God already warned you that, 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 that something gonna happen. The song says it ain't gonna be water next time, but it's gonna be fire next time. How many of y'all prepare for it? Only way you can escape the fire of judgment, you gotta be born again. You got to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior. And, and if you're still alive when he come back, the Bible says you'll be chained in a moment or twinkling an eye and be caught up to meet him in the, in the midair. If you're not right with God, you're not going to meet him. I'm going to try to close out, y'all, if y'all don't mind it. You see, then I, somewhere I read, and I'm trying to close here now, somewhere I read that Jesus said, when I come back, every eye is going to see me. What, what was he saying? That means he's suddenly coming back. Yeah. He said, I believe in that cell. Yeah. He, said, he said, when I come back, every eye is going to see me. Yeah. You know what? Some going to be saved and some not going to be saved. Yeah. You don't have to be poking fun at somebody that's going to be lost. Yeah. And, 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 and uh, you ain't got to tell them they lost. Because when they look up and see him coming in the cloud, if he come out ready, if he started coming to the cloud right now, y'all ain't ready. I ain't gonna have to tell you, you ain't ready. Yeah. You gonna go to howling? And, that was the Bible say you gonna be howling and moaning yeah. and gnashing of teeth it, it, because you know you you're in the heart. You know you ain't ready. Oh Lord, the eternal punishment. You know you're bound for eternal punishment when you look up and see him coming. He said every eye gonna see me. What that mean? We in this building. How we gonna see him if he come? And we inside the building. This building gonna turn to just like clear glass. Yep. That's the only way you be able to see it. If you're in the submarine in the midst of the ocean, you be able to look up through the submarine and see him coming in the sky. Yep. Why? He said every eye gonna see him yep. when he come back, and you you gonna know yourself whether you're not right because he's gonna be shining in his righteousness. And if you're not right with God, you won't be able to stand. That's why the song Truman sang, Who Shall Be Able to Sing? Jesus is getting us ready for that great day, and who shall be able to stand? I want to ask y'all a question. How many of y'all going to be able to stand? You don't know that, though. You don't know whether you're going to be able to stand. Looking at you. He said, I'm God, and I change not. God, has God changed his mind about his plan of salvation. I want y'all to talk to me, and then I'm going to close out. I want to ask you another question. How many of you think God has changed his mind by the plan of salvation? 
Let's see the hands of you who, who believe God have not changed his mind. But then you ought to act like it. If you believe that God have not changed his mind, that means you got to walk right. You got to talk right. You got to treat your fellow man right. You got to love everybody. If you want to see his face, if you don't want to see his face, keep on doing what you're doing. God not going to make you be saved. 